hello and welcome back to my channel today we're going to take the first walk through of the garden and the fruit trees for 2023 um garden needs a lot of work but we're going to take a look at where we are and so we'll be able to see the progress as we start cleaning it cleaning it up so let's take a walk through the garden I got a little behind in cleaning the garden up at the end of the season in 2022 due to some um, personal reasons as well as extensive work travel, uh, which didn't allow me to be home to do that work. So the garden is in pretty bad shape, but let's take a look at it. Here's where we're starting from. So. I had some containers here that had blueberries and raspberries in them. Hopefully we can get those trimmed up so they'll come back this year. As we talked in some of my other videos, this gardening space started with two tomato plants up against my garage here. And it seemed like every year I added a bed or a row of beds or multiple rows of beds or two extra pots and other things vertical gardens um, and this is where we are today so let's quickly just walk through the area so these are this is a four by five bed everything else is some version of a four by four for square foot guarding these are my extra green stalks where you see I didn't even unload those for the year. I just kind of stacked them on top of each other. And whew, a lot of leaves, a lot of excess growth. I do have my garlic coming up though. Look at that. I did get my garlic in the ground at the end of the season. Uh, there's supposed to be some elephant garlic over there, but I don't think any of it came up. And then I also think the squirrels had a field day digging it up when I planted it. So I have this teeny little two by four bed full of garlic. And then I have a couple of rows of garlic over here. You see, I, I didn't pull up my water lines either. So my water lines are just scattered throughout. I usually put my leaves on top of my beds didn't get to that either I think I only got leaves on one bed so I'm going to have to pull quite a few weeds look at that right there lots of weeds but we're gonna try to do a better job with that this year I'm gonna go on around here last year like I said I keep growing my garden last year I added this strawberry tower and so I'm hoping some of these strawberries come back this year look at that oh i see some green there i see a little green there as well so hopefully these will come back there we go and i have it on a spinner as well so that i can move it around and make sure that we can get all sides access to the sun i also added this area here last year so i have a peach tree that remained dormant for almost six to eight months so I thought it was dead and then I saw a couple leaves on it at the end of the season so I was ready to dispose of it and I'm glad I didn't um, blackberries a blueberry in the ground right there I don't think it's going to do anything um, all blackberries over here and three apple trees. So I have some dwarf apple trees I planted last year. So they're only supposed to get to about five to six feet tall if you um, trim them properly. So three apple trees, maybe. I'll get an apple on it in the next year or two. What else? This is a new area from last year as well. This row here, added one more bed. I also added these grapes at the end of the season. Wasn't sure if it was gonna work or not. 
we'll see what happens this year i still need to trim and prune and do all of those type things i have a couple pots with strawberries in it all of that was new you hear the crunching ice ice up under my feet i also added this bed here on the corner of my garden so my garden used to end right here so i had one two three four rows and then last year i added this space and this space here against my she shed and this space here so that this is the primary garden this is it I get almost a year's supply of vegetables from this space right here. On these bricks in this area right here, this is where I grow all of my potatoes. And there's usually about 20 containers of, cont of potatoes growing in this space here. Line them all up. I had drip irrigation going to it last year. That didn't work out so well. I prefer to just hand water those uh, going forward. But this is the space. This is the full space of my gardening where I can and preserve as much as possible to get me almost a year supply. All right, let's walk over to our patio so you can at least see the other green stalk. There's a pile of green stalks over there that I'll have to set up again this year, but I have others on the patio. So let's go to the patio. Before I get to the patio, I'm gonna show you some other fruit trees that I have. So I have two more peach trees. So here's one, there's another one there. I know you. some people may say they're too close together, but again, these are dwarf peach trees. They've been grafted so that they're only supposed to get about six feet at the most eight feet tall, depending on how you prune and trim the trees. And this one is actually looking pretty good. Look at that. It looks pretty good. So hopefully I'll get a peach or two off of those this year. Here's the other one. And then in this space here, right next to the house, I usually, put all of my sweet potatoes and I put those in grow bags line this whole area up and the vines from the sweet potatoes are beautiful and it fills this whole space up and it, they look like flowers and so I will have the grow bags in this space but we were headed over to the patio there's another blueberry tree or bush I should say and an additional blueberry bush there and somewhere down here there's some cranberries there it is it's kind of hard to see with all the weeds i'm gonna have to like really really clean this space up the weeds just took over for me this year years ago before my garden was as big as it was i would take this space here right against the house and I had herbs and tomato plants and pepper plants and my mother says this is supposed to be a flower bed get those vegetables out of there so it required me to build more raised beds that was my excuse anyway over here this is one of the green stalks that you know I left out at the end of the season um, I did take pieces of the green stalks, cleaned them up and brought them indoors so I could start my indoor garden for the winter season. So that's why these were just left here. I never finished breaking them down or cleaning them up. So again, my garden and my grow space is a mess. It's a mess. But this is where you can see the remnants of some of my herbs. There was some strawberries in there. And look, you see the green? They're coming back. Strawberries are perennials. They come back every year. But they need stratif stratification, I think is what it's called. So they have to go through that cold period. I wanted to increase the amount of fruits 
for my family because the prices are ridiculous. Now, I know I can't grow enough to sustain my family when it comes to fruits. So I started planting blackberries and raspberries and cranberries and blueberries and strawberries to have just enough to kind of play around with, pick a few. So these are raspberries here, I believe, which need to be cleaned up and blueberries or excuse me blackberries over here and raspberries can be invasive if you're not careful they will grow all over the place so you have to really really stay on your pruning for those and that's it that's my total growing space it's not a lot but it is enough to provide enough vegetables to keep me from having to go in the store and buy the processed stuff or the canned stuff or the jarred stuff full of preservatives and who knows what else. It's what I like to do. And now it's time for me to get out here and clean it up though. I have to clean it up so I can get those things in the ground um, late March. Um, this is Southwest Ohio zone 6A. And so by the end of March, I should be putting in some of my early brassicas and cool weather crops. This is my neighbor's garden that he and his wife allows me to garden for them as well. So there are a few more beds over here where I like to put things that I know they enjoy. So there are peppers and tomatoes and cucumbers and winter squash. That's what I use this space over here for. I really do it more for them so they can stay active. They come out and they help weed and pick the vegetables and water the vegetables, you know, keep them moving and keep them active. But we both get to enjoy the fruits of this space here. So I don't like to call it mine, but there are uh, vegetables that will come out of this space as well, which is literally right across from my garden, which is over here. That's it. That's all I have for today. We got some work to do. We got a lot of work to do to get this space up and ready for the season. And I'm up to the challenge. If you found this video inspiring, helpful, making you want to get into that spirit for the 2023 season, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I will be showing progress as I turn this space over here into this season's 2023 garden. So come with me for this journey and we will have an amazing 2023 season getting that in order so it can produce another year supply of vegetables. Thank you. Have a safe day. Enjoy growing.